So, anyone a fan of the assignment activity in Moodle? Uh, just a few there. Maybe I should start again. Anyone using the assignment activity in Moodle? Oh, yeah, I can see you're all awake. That's good. Uh, whether you're a fan of the assignment or not, I'm sure we all agree that the assignment is a really important activity in Moodle that's very, very well used. And developers have put a lot of effort into making improvements based on user feedback. So I'm going to talk now about a number of things that you can look forward to when you upgrade your Moodle site to 3.1 or 3.2. So first, a quick recap of how things looked in 3.0. Here's a typical assignment page. And as a teacher, if you want to go and grade those assignments, there's a little link at the bottom, View, Grade or Submissions, which takes you to this page listing all the submissions, a really big table, can take quite a while to load if you have a lot of students, and then you have to find that little grade link to click, which takes you onto the grading page for the student, and there you have to scroll down, maybe you're using some um, rubric and you have to scroll down there again, and scroll down again, and eventually, you get to your Save Changes button. Moving on to 3.1. Now, can anyone see a difference here? If you're very observant, you notice that rather than that View, Grade, or Submissions link, we now have two buttons. One, if you wanted to go to that table page listing all the submissions, but if you just want to get, go grading quickly, you click the grade button and, ta-da, the new grading interface. So take a look at this. This is uh, the page. It uses all the space available for your grading. There's no space wasted with blocks or with a header or with a footer. It's nice and responsive. It works well on a mobile. And you've got your Save Changes button handily there, always available. You don't need to scroll loads. It's also easy for you to go from one student to the next student. You see the top right there. You can use the forward and back arrows. Or you can just start typing a student's name, and it, it prompts you with, with the student. And you see most of the space is efficiently taken up by this annotation for if you like to do uh, add comments or highlighting or squiggles or, or smiley faces or whatever you like to do, it's, it's all there. And if you do like this uh, annotating, a great thing in 3.1 is you don't need to get your students to convert their Word documents to PDF. Uh, because if your administrator uh, installs this stuff on the server called Unicomv, then your students can upload Word documents, other files, and they get converted to PDF for you to start annotating. Also, if you're using the uh, online um, uh, submission type where students type in, that also gets converted to PDF for you to be able to annotate. Now, I did say if your system administrator installs this stuff, it is quite a big if, and I'll come back to that later on in, the, in my presentation. But say you're not really into all this annotation and putting smiley faces everywhere, well, that's no problem, because this uh, interface can be adapted. You see where the arrow is pointing, there's these three little buttons and you can collapse uh, any screen, any panel that you're not using uh, so that you're just uh, presented with whatever you want and it remembers it so the next time you come back uh, uh, it's the same. 
But say you're not into even doing all this marking online, you just like to download all your submissions. Maybe you do actually like to download everything as Word documents and use the, the Word annotation features. Uh, we've got improvements for you in 3.1. Uh, now you can, rather than downloading everything, you can select, there's all uh, checkboxes, and you can download just selected submissions rather than everything. A really big thing uh, for those who like downloading stuff is uh, the choice of if you want to download the submissions in folders or not. This is really good for, say, uh, the submission, student submissions consists of a number of files. If you uh, click, tick the download submissions in folders, then all the files for each student are uh, put in a folder and if the files have got links between them, then all those links are preserved because the files are not renamed. It's also helpful if you uh, mark the, the, the submissions and you maybe want to include additional feedback files, then you just pop them in the folder and upload them and they're all sorted in the right place. And I'm told it also works perfectly with uh, anonymous submissions. Um, one little improvement that you might not notice, uh, especially for um, Moodle sites where you've got really, really large numbers of enrollments, like say over 100. Um, you see this options screen, there's a, an option assignments per page where the teacher can decide how many assignments are listed on that uh, uh, page. And one of the options is to display all. Now, if you've got more than 100 students in your course, then the page is going to take a really, really long time to display, and it might even time out. So a new setting in 3.1 for administrators, so it's a, a site-wide setting, is that you can limit that drop-down. So you can set it to, say, 20 or something. Uh, so then teachers can't accidentally set it to show all assignments on the page. Also in 3.1 are some really cool improvements with the Moodle mobile app. In 3.1, students can make assignment submissions via the app. So they can do uh, type online text and they can upload a file. So this is, can be really cool if your students are out on some field trip. Maybe they need to take a picture with a mobile phone and they can immediately uh, make an assignment submission with the picture they just took. Even better if your field trip is like, say, going up a mountain somewhere and you don't have uh, uh, internet connectivity is that uh, students can still make submissions when they're offline and then the next time they, they get back online it's all synchronised and it's all there for the teacher to mark. So, some really cool improvements in 3.1 and even more cool improvements in 3.2. So, assignment overrides uh, we've had it in the quiz activity for quite some time, and now we have it in the assignment. Lots of people asked for being able to set different deadlines for uh, individual students or groups of students. Maybe you've got your class uh, working on different projects at different times, and so you can uh, set your assignment due dates accordingly for different groups. Uh, so you have a nice handy page listing all the assignment overrides you set. So say uh, your student Sam uh, comes to you and says, oh, my dog died last night, and you can uh, uh, change the, the deadline. And then the next day, another student says, my parrot died last night. And then you can just duplicate that override uh, again nice and easily. Another Moodle mobile improvement, now uh, not just for students, 
but this one in uh, 3.2 is for teachers. Now, teachers can uh, do their assignment grading using their mobile app. So if it's a nice uh, sunny day, you know, it happens occasionally, uh, teachers can go outside at lunchtime, sit in the park, and be doing their assignment grading. And like with the assignment submissions, it works offline, so the teacher can do all this grading, and then when they go back into school or college, then their marks get synchronized. So lots of cool improvements in 3.1 and 3.2. Now 3.3 is just around the corner. Hopefully in about a month it will be released. And we think, right, what's, what improvements can we make in 3.3? Or is the assignment uh, activity perfect? No, it's not perfect. Uh, we know that well because we get lots of feedback in the forums of Moodle.org. Uh, it's really helpful when people come and ask questions or report problems that they're having. Also, in our Moodle tracker, we get lots of comments. And a, a really frequent comment was problems with this thing, Unoconv, that you need to have installed on your server to be able to do that cool uh, conversion of Word documents and stuff to PDF. I understand that some people are concerned about security and then some people are concerned about performance. Anyway, it's uh, a lot of problems, meaning people can't always manage to, to have that installed. So what's coming in 3.3 is a new plugin type called a document converter. Uh, this screenshot just shows the interface, but by default we've got their Unocom, but I'm told, hopefully, to be integrated soon is going to be the option to have a, a Google uh, document converter. Dan's nodding there. He knows more than me being an integrator. Okay. One more improvement coming in 3.3 which I find really nice, is uh, collapsible comments. You know, if you add comments to your, when you're annotating, it, they cover up a lot of the text. So this, uh, this uh, improvement means that there's a, a button there and all the comments can be collapsed and then you just have a tiny little, you see, maybe if you look very closely and the bottom screenshot, just a little speech bubble showing where that uh, comment is. Now, this improvement in the assignment is a really nice uh, improvement that's developed by someone in the community, uh, Tony Butler from Lancaster University. Fortunately, I don't think he's uh, here at the Moodle Moot, but it's really nice to have such improvements coming from, from the community. And both uh, collapsible comments and uh, our document converter plugin are uh, due to be tested. We're, we're uh, in the process now uh, leading up to the release of 3.3 where we're doing a QA testing cycle where all the features of Moodle are tested by real people. So if you'd like to help, or if you'd like to try out these new features and help with QA testing, then please have a look on Moodle.org and, and, uh, and get involved. So, thanks very much for listening. I don't know if there's any time, if anyone has any questions. Anyone have any questions? Hello. You showed a screen of the download submissions in folders tick box, which was labeled as Moodle 3.1. Where do I find that tick box? It's, are you sure it's Moodle 3.1? Ah, that's a very good uh, point you made there. This yeah. has what driven actually... my staff insane during uh, this year. Right, I yeah, very good point. What happened was uh, there was a tracker issue to say we should be able to download submissions in folders for if an assignment has got more than one uh, file. 
And so it was implemented in 3.1 that all uh, submissions are automatically downloaded in folders. And then the next thing we had in the forums on Moodle.org and in the tracker was a lot of people complaining because it was loads and loads of extra work. I guess that's what you found. Yes, yes. That if you did have an assignment submission that was uh, only one file, then suddenly the teacher was having to go into this folder, this folder, this folder, just to look at the one file. So we realized very quickly have to make an, imp an improvement. And so it was decided to give that option for teachers to choose. And that came in 3.1.1 or 3.1.2? Dan doesn't know the answer. <laughs> OK. Well, it, it, I, th I think it was 3.1.1. It was very quick, wasn't it? But, but uh, so yeah, if you can upgrade to the latest 3.1, You'll definitely it's get a, it. It's an annual event in the It's a, an annual school, event. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, Thank maybe you. you can have a look in the tracker at uh, getting the patching your site to get that improvement. It's Thank definitely 3.1.1 or 3.1.2. It's very quick. I, I just want to point out the vast, in my institution, the vast, overwhelming majority of assignments, people only upload, students only upload one file. I mean, right. only a tiny, minuscule of occasions where they've ever done that, other than that. Yeah. Time for one more, if there is anyone. No? No? All right, thank you very much. Thanks.